Get ready for yet another nail-biting adventure with the one and only Harrison Ford, his signature cowboy hat, and the rope he always wears. After so many years, we got the announcement that a fifth Indiana Jones movie is already in the works, and we're here to share all the spicy details about it, where his next adventure will take us, all the returning and new faces coming to the franchise, and a little bit of nostalgia as well. We can safely say that this next sequel has been years in the making and today Indiana Jones 5 is finally genuinely in the works and ready to hit the big screen. In early June this year, we were able to see Harrison Ford as Indy and if everything goes according to plan, we should see him in the spotlight in two years, that is, if there are no more setbacks after the last one that eventually happened, but more on that a little bit later. There's a different man at the helm of the movie, replacing Steven Spielberg is James Mangold, who says that despite he's new to the franchise, he's confident that him together with the team working on the movie, the whole crew will deliver and knock themselves out in the efforts to make something really good. After all, we deserve it, right? ...to the Digimap background. Many years have passed since the last Indiana Jones movie, so we're more than ready to be overwhelmed with the excitement of what is coming. As Mangold said, he'll try to capture the craft of the originals, which are gonna be integrated with the modern age, all for the next sequel to be an epic one. Spielberg is still on board as a hands-on producer, so the direction of the movie will not be taking some huge and unexpected turns. So don't you worry about that. And to mark the whole filming process on the way, We've prepared a little something to share with you about the release date of the movie. The cast members of Mangold has decided to be paired with Ford, and of course, what the movie will be all about. Jones, do you realize what the arc is? It's a transmitter. The franchise seems to like the setbacks that were forced by the pandemic, which continued even after the COVID-19 itself, with every one of us being witnesses to yet another delay for the movie. Yes, you heard us right, one more delay. The movie has had a rocky road up until now, to say the least, but as time goes by, we're certainly a little bit calmer, with the hope of the movie finally hitting the theaters now that the pandemic rules and requirements are getting lifted one by one, both for the theaters and the ones during the filming process as well. A short trip down memory lane won't hurt us, right? From Steven Spielberg and George Lucas. When the movie was announced, it should have been released even before the global pandemic even started back in 2019. However, other internal problems pushed the movie to July 10th, 2020. However, little did we know that this will be just one of the few delays that will be occurring moving forward. As the window for the release of the movie was closing in, Disney decided to delay the release date once again by yet another year to July 9th, 2021, and then again to July 29th, 2022, and finally it came as no surprise when the movie got delayed yet another time, which we hope will be the last with the latest official release date of the movie standing to be on June the 30th, 2023. You've lived an incredible life. Seen amazing things. To start, it wouldn't be a shock to hear that Harrison Ford is coming back in the infamous role to put on the hat one more time. Producer Frank Marshall clearly stated that the role would not be recast for the new movie, one of the first news we got when rumors were spreading about yet another Indiana Jones movie. From the other confirmed cast members to take part in the next sequel, we'd have to start with Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who has been cast as a female lead in the movie. Others who will be joining her are Hannibal star Mad Mickelson, Seanette Rene from Black Panther, Marvel star Thomas Kretschmann, and Boyd Holbrook from The Predator, all of which have been confirmed for the upcoming movie. The details of which characters they'll be playing are under wraps now, but Mickelson has said that when it comes to the script, it's everything he wished for. For hope to defeat, what do you say? They talk like I'm some boy. When the filming began, we also got the news that Toby Jones also joined the cast of the new movie, together with Antonia Banderas, but in unknown roles, a detail we'll have to wait a bit for. The legendary composer John Williams is also present after being confirmed to return, continuing the journey he started almost 40 years ago with Raiders of the Lost Ark. John Reese davies expressed himself that he would want to reprise his much-loved role of Sala, who first appeared in Raiders of the Lost Ark and then again in Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Silver medal for finishing second. Hang on, we should also mention that Indy's love interest, Marion Ravenwood, might not be back, 
However, Karen Allen said that never say never as we've seen her part of the early stages of the filming of the movie. And last but not the least, we also heard that Star Wars star Mark Hamill has put himself out there as a potential villain in the fifth installment, but that's still out for debate. If I know you, Dad, they've got the right idea. If anyone can do this. We've had the pleasure to see the plethora of wonderful cast members who are joining the franchise. But when it comes to the details of just what kind of an adventure will Indy participate in, we got nothing in particular. Everything has been kept well hidden that even Indy might not be able to find it. However, from some shots, it looks like Indy will go head to head with the Nazis again, but this detail is still not clear if it's some kind of a flashback or they're the main villains in the movie. One of the known side, we know that the sequel will take place after Crystal Skull and that it'll feature older Dr. Jones with us seeing him in a different light, just like Harrison Ford announced. It has been over a decade since the last movie was released and if the franchise follows Crystal Skull, which was set in 1957, we should expect the fifth installment to be set in the 1960s, one of America's most turbulent decades. They talk like I'm some legend. Some were wondering if the movie would be a reboot, but Kathleen Kennedy denied all those rumors to be wrong, a statement that perfectly lines up with the rumors of the new movie, including something to do with the space race. Mangold has not revealed anything about the movie's plot, but has said that like all his other movies, so far, he'll find an emotional center to operate from, which in combination with his desire to push this franchise to someplace new might prove to be just what Indy needs on his next adventure. Man Gould was not shy to add that even though some things have been happening repeatedly in the movies before this one, there are still the few elements that are there to capture the essence of the movie. The whole franchise lies on them, and he's more than certain that he'll revisit some of them, and make them part of what's yet to come, thus expecting some nostalgia along the way in this next movie, which despite all the delays is still going strong. And us here having the commodity to see it, hopefully in two years, as it stands right now. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, out of the four previous installments from the franchise, which one has been your favorite and why. But also, if you could, what element would you want to preserve moving forward with the fifth movie? Now that we know the nostalgic side of things about the movie, and also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.